So hello and welcome to another episode of Plants for Pollinators. I'm Frederick Dunn and this is The Way to Be. Today's April 10th and today's spotlight is on the dead nettle. The dead nettle is a flowering perennial and it has attractive fuzzy leaves that come in green, silver, or even variegated varieties. The flowers, as shown here, are small and hood-shaped, often in shades of pink or purple or white. It's a low-growing plant that spreads easily, and it makes it a great choice for ground cover on your lawn or property. And for pollinators like these honeybees, dead nettle is a bee magnet. The flowers have a rich nectar supply that's easy for the bees to access thanks to their open shape. And this also provides a valuable food source for honeybees and other pollinators throughout spring and summer, so kind of all year long. This is a fantastic ground cover and I'm allowing these patches to spread everywhere I can. It seems like, it seems to like to be near the base of various trees, so partial shade there. Dead nettles thrive in shady or partially shaded areas where grass might struggle, so if you've got those bald patches, this would fill them in great. And it forms a dense mat of foliage that helps suppress weeds and retain moisture in the soil. It's also low maintenance, so you can mow right over it, and it's fairly deer resistant. I haven't had the deer eat it, which is a bonus for gardeners. And overall, the dead nettle is a versatile little plant. It offers a lot of bang for your buck, and it's beautiful and easy to care for. And it provides a valuable food source for pollinators besides the bees. So the next time you're looking for a low ground cover, the shady spot that you need to fill in, consider giving a dead nettle a try. And if you already have it in your lawn, just let it grow. Thanks for watching, and I invite you to save this playlist, Plants for Pollinators. There are many more pollinator plant species to come, so keep watching.